Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. So I've got this gorgeous sort of nude lace bridal look tutorial for you today. I recently saw a design on Nails by Lari um, on Instagram. I'll leave her Instagram link down below for you. Um, and I just thought it was really, really beautiful and it was perfect for um, all of the weddings coming up really really soon so we've got a right mixture going on with nudes and lace and chrome and also some Swarovski crystals as well so if you want to find out how I created this then just stay tuned so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get Magpie Gel Colour in Fanny Annie so I'm going to apply that to my pinky my index finger and I'm going to apply two coats curing in between each layer So then just with those two nails I'm just going to top them with a no wipe top coat just so that we can stamp quickly and easily on top. So and then I'm just going to cure that in my lamp. So then for the stamping I'm going to use Dixie Plates DP03 and I'm going to use this large lace image in the middle. For stamping, I'm also going to use the Dixie Plates Big Red Clear Stamper. And then I've also got Nail Stamping Queen UK in white. So, and then I'm just going to place stamp all over the nail so and again I'm just going to place the stamp over the entire nail so then I'm just going to top coat those nails twice curing in between each layer and then I'll be back with you. So then next up I'm going to get Magpie Gel Colour in Rosy Lee and this is going to be our base colour for the sort of champagne chrome effect. So then I'm going to paint my ring finger and my thumb with Rosy Lee and I'm going to do two coats curing in between each layer. So then for those two nails I'm then going to top coat them with a no wipe top coat so that we can apply our chrome dust. So and then I'm going to cure that in my lamp. So then I'm going to get Magpie Dust Tiara which I'm going to use for my chrome and just a little eyeshadow sponge like this. So I'm just going to dip the sponge into the dust and then I'm just going to rub that all over the nail. So 
So then I'm just going to get my Magpie duster brush and dust off any excess. So, and then I'm going to top coat over those nails twice, curing in between each layer. So then finally, I'm going to use Magpie gel color Cat Got The Cream for my middle finger. So I'm going to apply two coats of this color, curing in between each layer. So I recently brought some of these Swarovski crystals from Scatter Crystals. So we've got a mixed pack here of Crystal AB and it's got all the listed sizes on the back. So it's a really good pack to get because you get 500 crystals in there. So and I also got some of the um, Crystal AB teardrops. So and again these are mixed sizes and it's got it on the back. So and there's 20 crystals in here. So I'm going to use sort of a mixture um, of both of these for the middle finger. So to apply my crystals, I'm going to use Gelish Structure Gel, which um, I use all the time for crystals. So I'm just going to apply some of the gel to where I sort of want to place the crystal. So just sort of at the cuticle area. Then I'm going to get my Crystal Ninja Tanto sort of picker upper. So, and I'm gonna go for one of the teardrops first. So, and I basically want this size here, which is quite a big one, but I don't know what the exact size is of that one. So I'm gonna just pick it up. And I'm just going to place it right in the middle of the nail, like that. Then I'm just going to open the other pack of crystals and just add a few sort of random crystals around the outer edge. So, and then once I've applied all my crystals, I'm going to cure that in my lamp. So then I'm going to get my Magpie Detailer Nail Art Brush. And I'm just going to get the brush of my Structure Gel and just pick up some of the gel. And basically, I'm just going to go around all of the crystals individually just to make sure that they're fully secured, especially that big one in the middle. But we want to make sure that we go around them all and that's why it's good to use a really small nail art brush because you can really get into the gaps. So then I'm going to cure that in my lamp. So then once that's been cured, we're just going to go around in exactly the same way. Just one more time. And then we're going to cure that in the lamp. So then once that's been cured, I'm then going to top coat the rest of the nail, just going up to where we applied that structure gel. And cure that in my lamp. So then I'm just going to finish off the nails by applying some cuticle oil once I've removed the inhibition layer from the top coat. So and then I'm just going to rub that all in. So and there you have some gorgeous lace 
and chrome nails absolutely perfect for bridal nails or even just because you like them but they're really really super gorgeous so i hope that you like this tutorial guys i will leave all of the links for the products down below and also um larissa's um instagram down below as well please like and subscribe for future videos and i'll see you all again soon bye